E-tier international system, the United Nations Global Border Crossing Facilitation Tool is the electronic procedure of the tier convention. What are the tier convention and the E-tier international system? When traveling along European and Asian roads, you will have recognized the familiar blue and white tier plate borne by thousands of lorries and semi-trailers using the tier customs transit system. For the driver, the transport operator and the shipper, this plate stands for fast and efficient international transportation by road. TIR stands for Transport International Routier or International Road Transports. The TIR Convention is a multilateral treaty that was concluded at Geneva on 14th November 1975 to simplify and harmonize the administrative formalities of international and road transport. The TIR Convention establishes an international customs transit system with the maximum facility to move goods in sealed vehicles or containers from a customs office of a departure in one country to a customs office of a destination in another country without requiring extensive and time-consuming border checks at the intermediate borders. At the same time, providing customs authorities with the required security and the guarantees. The tier system covers customs transit by road. It also allows for a combination with other modes of transport like rail, inland waterway and even maritime transport, as long as at least one part of the total transport is made by road. TIER is historically the first public-private partnership between the UN and IRU the World Road Transport Organization. IRU is the voice of more than 3.5 million companies operating mobility and logistic services in over 80 countries. IRU is mandated by the Administrative Committee of the TIER Convention to issue and distribute TIER carnets, as well as manage the TIER International Guarantee Chain. To date, more than 33,000 international transport operators have been authorized by their respective competent national authorities to access the TIER system using around 1 million tier carnets per year. On the 5th February 2020, the Tier Administrative Committee adopted proposals to amend various provisions of the body of the Tier Convention 1975 and introducing new Annex 11, which provides the legal basis for the long-awaited E-Tier procedure. The E-Tier International System constitutes the future of the Tier Convention. It is a prerequisite for the revitalization of the tier system and the countries awaiting its interconnection with the national customs systems. The E-Tier International System is a customs-to-customs -customs electronic system hosted by UNEC. When it comes to international transit of goods, vehicles or containers, E-Tier ensures the secure exchange of data between national customs systems in line with the TIER Convention. At the same time, it allows customs to manage the data on guarantees issued by the guarantee chain to holders who are authorized to use the TIER system. Advanced data shall be submitted by the holder or his or her representative to the competent authorities of the country of departure and of the country in which an amendment to the declaration data is requested. Once the declaration or the amendment has been accepted, in line with national law. The competent authorities shall forward the declaration data or the amendment to the E-Tier International System. Advanced tier data and advanced amendment data may be submitted either directly to the competent authorities or via the E-Tier International System. While accepting the declaration in the country of departure or an amendment to the declaration data in any country along the itinerary, the competing authorities shall authenticate the advanced tier data or the advanced amendment data and the holder in accordance with national law. Contracting parties bound by Annex 11 shall accept the declaration data received from the competent authorities of the country of departure and of the country in which an amendment to the declaration data is requested via the E-Tier International System as the legal equivalent to an accepted tier carnet. The authentication of the holder performed by the competent authorities of the contracting parties bound by Annex 11, which accept the declaration or changes to the declaration data, 
shall be recognized by the competent authorities of all subsequent contracting parties bound by Annex 11 throughout the TIR transport. Where the E-tier procedure cannot be started for technical reasons at the Customs Office of Departure, the tier carnet holder may revert to the tier procedure. UNEC shall assist countries in connecting their national customs systems to the E-tier international system, including by means of conformance tests. The E-tier international system connects electronically the holders, the users of the electronic guarantees, the customs authorities, the national associations and the international organization and therefore facilitates border crossing operations, trade and transport and creates seamless, paperless and contactless border crossing operations by reducing fraud and risk. The E-tier international system turns borders into bridges.